Game 5 back in Boston on the parquet. Andre Iguodala, a big part of the Philly comeback in Game 4. Ray Allen getting his first postseason start of 2012. Early on, Doc Rivers talked about his team lacking some energy. They got a boost from Greg Steens, but it was 4 for 4 before the half. Yeah, solid contributions, and for Philadelphia, Elton Brand really solid in this game, playing with a lot of energy. Knocking down mid-range jump shots. 8 of 13, 19 points for him. Evan Turner, no. Drew Holiday recovers the rebound. Knocks down a three there. Philly led by four. Holiday, quick hands. Outlet ahead to Thaddeus Young. And you wondered how it was going to manifest itself for Boston with Bradley out defensively. What, what they were going to do, catching up, getting in transition against Philly, they were able to get off to a really nice start offensively. The ever-patient Paul Pierce to the rim for the layup. Cuts the lead to one. Philly never led by more than six. Ray Allen can't finish here. Andre Iguodala's got it. He's going all the way for the dunk on Pierce and Garnett. But when you look at that play, no one stopped the ball. No communications, no one talking, no one pointing. Rondo should have tried to stop the ball back in the backcourt, at least a half court. Third quarter. When the Celtics really seized control, Rajon Rondo, Kevin Garnett for the jumper. That cut it to two, and then Brandon Bass was out of his mind in the third quarter. Well, finding spots on the floor to get open. You can see the Celtics just continuing to move the ball. Philly reacting to Rondo in the lane as if he's going to shoot the ball. He does not shoot, but what he does is drop off passes like that. And then the Celtics out. In rare transition here, Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen sort of flubbed the pass, but Bass was picking everything up and putting everything down. Everything falling in his hands. He went 8 of 13 from the field. He hit on 18 points, excuse me, 9 of 13, 18 points in the third quarter alone. A career playoff high 27 for the game. Clock winding down in the third. Paul Pierce hits the jumper. Celtics outscored the Sixers 34-13 from early in the third to early in the fourth quarter. Rondo with the layup and one. They extend the lead to 16. Rondo had 13 points to go with his 14 assists. Celtics with a swipe here and they put it away to take a 3-2 series lead. 101 to 85 is the final in addition to uh, the, some of the other numbers including Bass is 27. They outscored the Sixers by 16 at the free throw line. 26 to 10 from there. They shoot 52% from the field overall, and they take a 3-2 series lead with Game 6 happening Wednesday in Philadelphia.